Hello everyone, welcome to the Lacey Bird Academy channel. Today's video is about wrapping two small bouquets. Today I will wrap one bouquet of a small round shape and one bouquet of a small, more vertical and spreading shape. So let's get started. And the first step I want to start with is a bouquet of a small round shape. I need three types of wrapping paper for it. I decided to make it fluffy, voluminous. To show you how to make good solid wrapping. I will need a sheet of tissue paper. Small, thin paper type. Two types of paper in walls. One is matte pink, this color complements our bouquet. And this transparent matte film. For the first wrapping layer, we will use this tissue paper. We open it, take out one sheet. Tissue paper is a cool thing, because it covers some technical flaws in the bouquet, some gaps, and allows you to form a more understandable geometric shape. Here is an example, if you look at my bouquet, there are some gaps. To cover these, I will use tissue paper, it will conceal everything here. And the bouquet will be sweet and cute. Fold it this way, triangles. Cover here. Moving it in a circle. I think one layer is enough for me. Placing a little higher than the bouquet, because at the end we will bend it and lower a little. Be sure to tie. It is better to tie every new layer, carefully, with a tape. So your paper will definitely not fly away. The place where you first tie the bouquet, is the same place all your next ties have to go. The tissue is ready. Now we take the roll of matte paper. Be sure to wipe the table from the water every time. What do we do next? Here we have a paper roll. We put the bouquet in this way and measuring the width of the paper. Here, about like this, taking into account that here I will grab it and tie this paper. I need to cut about this much. So, let's cut three sheets for such a bouquet. If you need more, cut off additionally. We take this sheet. It was here, we put it horizontally. We reduce the length of the sheet by folding the right side inward. So here is the result we get. We take our bouquet. We are covering the back side. Covered the back and straightened it this way. So that everything is neat. We tied it. The main task is not to suffocate the bouquet, do not squeeze the wrap, try to make it as loose as possible. We take the second sheet of paper and do it all in a circle. We take the second sheet of paper 
and we do the same with the third piece. This part is not wrapped, so we focus on it. The third piece is placed. Make sure that this point here is neat. This part might look like a wine glass, but it is important that this outer part is not crumpled. I'm not a big fan of dense matte film paper, so I want to dilute it, so that it is softer, with this translucent paper. That's why I want to cover and fix the wrapping with this paper. We cut off the pieces in approximately the same length. Two pieces are enough. We fold it the same way and repeat the process. The final piece. We lift it and to look at it from above. Lower the tissue paper. We do it quite freely and unevenly. In some places the corner can look up, somewhere it is lower. This part of the mat wrapping sticks out a lot. I don't like it, so I want to cut off a little. We take the scissors. I don't really like it here either. It is twisted. So we shorten the length a little. Final touches. 
Cut where you think the wrapping is too high, so that it doesn't look like the bouquet is somewhere low. Cut carefully where you think it's necessary. For the final touch, I have this transparent double side tape. The wrapping is transparent, so is the tape. Carefully put the bouquet. Cut off a couple of pieces of tape in order to connect the pieces to each other so that it does not fall apart. Here we have one place. See how easy it is to do it. Glue the tape directly on top of your paper. Remove the non-stick part and make a movement like this. Bending inward. You got the volume, the tape is not visible, everything is fine. And this piece, so that it does not fall apart, we will tape it inside. Done. Now the ribbon. Usually we make one bow. And you can do as you wish. Here is our bouquet. It turned out to be a multi-layered wrap-in with three types of paper. I have a tissue paper, a matte film, and a transparent film. The bow is neatly tied. I have a simple bow. You can do as you like. I like it. The wrapping repeats the shape of the bouquet. This is the most important thing. Let's move on to the next bouquet. My second bouquet is more daring. You can even call it masculine. It is vertical, free in shape, because something sticks out here, something up here, something to the side. I decided to make this one to show the difference between the wrapping styles. Here I will use only one type of wrapping paper. I wanted to do it not multi-layered, because the bouquet is more complex, and the wrapping can make it too heavy. We use only one type. This is the paper with a complementing color. This color is somewhere in between the chrysanthemum begoed red and the Herbera Springs. This color of paper links the whole bouquet and makes it look great. We put the bouquet aside. Wipe the table and hands from water. We take the first piece. It is important to determine where is the highest point. If you look at the bouquet, the chrysanthemum is higher than the rest. And also here we have this branch. I'll start from this side, the right part. Here's what I do. I have the paper on the table. If you use sheets, then with this bend horizontally. We bend this side, leaving 12 to 15 centimeters. We go back. It is important to do a wave so that the top is smaller, the base is thicker. We form a zigzag. We do not need to do it like this. 
we need to open it. Then we put the bouquet. I have a large piece of paper left. It can be bent inward or cut. I'll cut it. Here is the highest point. In the same direction as the chrysanthemum, we put the paper and fix it in our hand. It turns out like this. You don't have to make it too high. It covered your main flower. If you have branches, then the top of the branches can stick out and be higher than the paper. It is not necessary to cover all the flowers. We covered up the main part. We tie it up again. We made the right part of the wrapping. Now we wrap the left side of bouquet. We put the piece the same way on the table. The left part of the paper goes down. We make corners. The left part of the bouquet should be larger. The right part should be smaller. We make these corners. The left part goes down. The longer part of the paper still remains. What can we do with it? We can shorten it. The length of the package can be shortened. We make an accordion. We shorten the length of the paper by doing so. We pack the front part of the bouquet. The front part of the bouquet is not covered. There is a gap. It looks sloppy. We put some paper here. And we finish the wrapping. We don't need a full piece. Half will be enough. We cut the paper. The uneven edge remains at the bottom. What do we do next? I want to add this piece to the right part of the bouquet. I go to the side where I need to wrap. I place this piece and go to the right. I move it like this. And cover our bouquet. The bottom part is covered. 
we place it in the middle of the bouquet. We take this lower triangle. So that this wave remains in the front. Do not take it to the binding point. It is important that it remains here to add volume to the bouquet. Again, do not tighten the wrapping, make it more voluminous. Otherwise, the flowers will be skeezed and the bouquet will look a little clamped. We tie the bouquet. We fix the layers that are behind. We take scotch tape. You can use a stapler, but it should be invisible. I take scotch tape. Fix it in the front. We tape in the front and in the back. First, we tape these pieces, then this one. The wrapping of this bouquet is finished. I've used a different technique. I like that the wrapping is complements the shape of the bouquet. I have the highest point in the bouquet. Everything is framed, everything is visible. There is a fall and a drop. Triangles, it is classical. But with a some spice, as I have a wave here. Here are two bouquets that I wrapped today. Try it, find your style. There are a lot of wrapping options, these are just two of all the ways that we use. I wish you endless creativity and inspiration. See you in our next videos. Bye.